We appreciate you giving up your time, Mr. Dawkins, to come and talk to us. You know I'm always willing to lend a hand to the police. What can I help you with? I'm sure you're aware of the recent murder of your friend June. What you may not know is that your friend Brian Barker is our primary suspect. Our files here tell us that you two were roommates in college. That you've kept in close contact ever since. Is there anything you'd like to tell us about his whereabouts, Mr. Dawkins? Well, I haven't seen him in weeks. Him and June were having some trouble ever since they moved in together, but nothing life-threatening. They did have a pretty bad fight a couple of weeks ago, but like I said, it was nothing life-threatening. Listen, Brian, I've been doing a lot of thinking lately, and I don't know, this may come as a bit of a surprise for you, but... Well, when we moved in together, we said that everything would change, but I just thought it would be for the better. What do you mean? I thought things have been great. I mean, I, I know I've been busy lately, but, you know, like you said, things change. And don't let a bad week stop one of the best things I've got. There you go! You! You're thinking about yourself again! I've decided I'm leaving. I've given you more than enough chances. You can't leave. I won't let you. What's stopping me? I am. Okay, I love you. Someone like us never dies. Maybe for you it doesn't, but I can't take this anymore, Brian. <laughs> June! So I'm gonna cut to the chase. We're pretty sure that you're hiding Brian. Only thing is, we don't know where, so we can't get a warrant. Well, Detective, I find your accusation poignant, but ill-placed. Brian is one of my closest friends, but I don't find myself above the law. So you're saying that if you knew anything about his whereabouts, you would willingly give up that information? If Brian came to me for help, I would do everything in my power to help him. But once he becomes a criminal, I'd have to do my civic duty and hand him over to you. With that being said, is there anything new that you'd like to tell me? Hey, Brian, how are you? Not so good, Kurt, man. I got, I got into some trouble and I don't have anyone else to turn to. Sure, man. Anything you need. What is it you need? I know I can't go home, I know that much, but I was thinking about leaving town, maybe. But it, uh, I haven't decided. I mean, would it be okay if I crashed here? Sure, man. Come on in. You know all those good things. Thanks, man. Thanks. Detective, we've been here for hours. If I could think of anything else that would help you, I'd tell you. Damn it, Kurt. I know there's something that you're not telling me. Do you know how much this case means to me? I'm sure it's very important to you, Detective. I hope you put the same effort into every one of your cases. June was my niece. Somebody took her away from me. And if I find out that you're helping to hide them, don't think for a second that I won't come after you, too. That, that sounds like a threat to me, Detective. And You know, I'd hate to bring my lawyer into this. I'll do whatever I have to to get justice for my niece's death. Well then, I wish you the best of luck, because... That's all I can give you. If that's everything you have to say, then I think we're done here. But remember, if I find out that you've had a hand in this, I'll be done with you before you even hear me coming. 